Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to explore a little known feature inside of Lightroom. But first, make sure you join us in our free private Facebook community so that you don't miss another live video. I shot these photos at a recent wedding and I want you to pay particular attention to my shutter speed. I was an aperture priority, so what happens is, obviously I select the aperture, the camera chooses the shutter speed, but if you look at these images, you'll notice that the shutter speed was different in just about every single photo. So what can happen is when you edit the photo, let's say you apply your favorite preset, in my case, that's Susie's favorite. And by the way, yes, it is available at the Flourish Academy. The link is below. I'm gonna make a few slight adjustments to this. And once I'm happy with it, I'm going to hold down Shift select all of these photos by clicking the last one. I'm going to choose sync and I'm going to synchronize those settings. So it did it exactly what I asked it to do. It synchronized them and they're all cleaned up, but these exposures are still all over the board because of the variety of shutter speeds that the camera selected. Ideally, I would have had this in manual mode and had that locked down, but I didn't. So did you know that inside of Lightroom, once you sync these photos, you can go to settings and choose match total exposures, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is literally every modifier on the keyboard. That's alter option, shift, command or control M, or you could just choose this. And you'll notice at the bottom of my screen, all of those images now match the same exposure. This is huge if you're someone who does not shoot in manual mode because it's a really fast way to sync your photos and then match the exposures. Are you excited about this? Did you know about it? Leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.